Welcome, 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 my friends. Welcome back to the Krieg Dominion. This is, I am, Omar Krieg. And this is, of course, the Krieg Dominion Freight, episode number two. Uh, apparently there's a happy Halloween event going on. I need to move some Halloween candy in order to get stuff. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do in that regard. And I'm not terribly worried about it. It's pretty cool from what I've seen. Um, Probably not going to focus too much on it, though. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something just for the SNGs of it. Uh, in the meantime, let me get my phone set up the way I want it first. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, our last episode was uh, our first episode, in fact. Uh, and that was about two plus weeks ago. Good times. Uh, posted that video on YouTube. It's got a handful of views. Got some progress. Now, what I did do in the interim since then, <clears throat> uh, I kind of played off on my own for a little while. <clears throat> you know, I did like a handful of drives, deliveries, whatever you want to call it. And you know what I did? I went and borrowed some money. And then I purchased a truck. But I think I need a little bit more than 115000 We'll take a look at the truck store here in just a second. Uh, in fact, let's go there now. We want ourselves a good old Peterbilt. I guess we'll take a Mac. Because um, we haven't discovered the other ones yet. So let's visit. Go get ourselves a Mac truck in Yakima. Uh, looks like we cannot purchase this Mac truck. And the next one up is a little bit more. So that's disappointing. So we'll have to do a quick drive. Uh, which is fine. Because we got the money. And as long as we don't... Uh, as long as we get a half-decent job, we'll be able to get one. And then what I really want to do, though, is find a Peterbilt uh, facility somewhere nearby. Or wherever I'm going, anyway. Let's see. I'm currently in... You know, to be honest, I don't know where exactly I am. And this map... I'm looking at here doesn't actually hang on let me see something world map will you tell me where i am i'm in olympia at the moment okay and i've been around a few places you know there's a peterbilt place right here down the road so let's grab something from tacoma see if we can't find a job from tacoma on the old quick job selections uh, let's see, we can sort it by origin, which we have already done. Probably only have to go a couple of pages over to grab something from Tacoma. If we get something from uh, Tacoma, we should be able to drive right by it. We'll discover it, and then uh, after we finish a drive or two, we'll stop in the Tacoma facility. I don't remember how alphabets work. But yeah, we'll get, uh, wow, really? Yeah, I guess we need something going to Tacoma. How about that? Let's see, destination down sort. Start here. So that's Wenatchee, Vancouver, Wenatchee, Yakima. That's. I'm looking at this the wrong way. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, here we go. Forty-five hundred. We'll take some frozen food from Wenatchee to Tacoma. And then we can always route our, uh, we can make sure we get the route to include a, a swing by, a pass through of Tacoma to get that Peterbilt discovery. Although I'm sure Wenatchee will have one. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Wenatchee's not a very big place, as I recall. Tacoma's not terribly huge, but it is a pretty, pretty decent sized city city. You know, not to be confused with. Small town. 8.58 a.m. driving some frozen food. All right, so we're in our... Why do I not have sound? Did my son play on the computer? I have some sound. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. F4? Correct. One. Adjust seats. Let's see. Let's take this back. Probably not going to get angles I want, but that's okay. Actually, this isn't too bad. We'll take this. Uh, mirrors. About. I've got the two virtual mirrors right there. 
That'll work. All right, turn the engine on. Turn the brake off. Put it in gear. Look around so I can figure out where exactly I gotta go here. I have something in my teeth, and I'm sure that was pretty disgusting to watch me do that. And it's annoying the crap out of me all day. All right, we gotta get going. Oh, lights. Gonna verify the lights are on. Lights are on. All right. Boy, around. Bit of a wide turn to make here. Uh, I'm going to switch up to this angle real quick just to. We are going to have to make. We're going to have to go really wide. Looks like we cleared the gate. So now it's just a matter of getting in our own lane. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're good. We are good. So, yeah, I did some uh, driving on my own. And uh, picked up a loan for the hundred grand. I got my own truck. I forgot to account that I might have to do another drive or two to have sufficient money so I can make that first truck purchase. And then I'll have my own truck, making my own money, to driving everybody else's stuff, and constantly readjusting my seat. Because as I'm sure everybody in the world that drives a vehicle of any sort can understand, once you get your vehicles. Uh, seat set the way you want it you don't want to change it and you don't want other people screwing with it because there's always that last one or two percent that takes forever to get it right you can get all over it you can get too much too little not enough more than enough you can't get that last one or two percent locked in quite right it takes like 17 tries or I just really suck at adjusting my seats to getting it exactly the way I want it after somebody else drives Wow, this is a really long light. There we go. Nice, let's go get out on the highway. Get ourselves headed up to Tacoma. 97 and 2. I can't remember where, I can't, you know, off, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly where uh, Wenatchee is. I know it's out east. And I'm sure I could just take a look at the map. We'll be here tonight for an hour, maybe two hours. Depends on how things go. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Uh, that might have been a little bit early for the F-bomb in the video, but whatever. It's not like YouTube's paying me anything right now. Ooh, I'm coming in really fast here. It's like 30 miles an hour there. 77,167 pounds, my current weight. I have no idea what that translates into for kilograms, for those that are so inclined. Uh, but that's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about 80,000 pounds, or excuse me, 80,000 kilos. Let me get over one more lane. No, I don't. We're going to Illensburg. We're going to take I-90, which makes sense. Ooh, look at that. Look at that smooth handling of that turn. That really wasn't as smooth as it could have been. Of course, I'm using the automatic settings for uh, gear shifting. Otherwise, I'd be hitting the shift button about every two seconds for about an hour. Right, let's see. You got anybody coming? Can we just blow through? We're going to go. I guess we're not going to I-90 just yet. Alright, let's see. What are we at? Like 
35 for uh, cruise control. I think we're set. I think we got it. I got used to driving another vehicle where it would tell me what my cruise control was set for, so. I guess we'll find out when if I go over 60 at any point. So my plan is to purchase this truck, make enough money to get a second truck and a driver. I may have to spend money on upgrading my garage. I don't recall if the garage I currently have has uh, room for a second vehicle yet or if I need to upgrade it. But no, that's a thing that has to happen every now and again. Uh, and then eventually, over time, we are going to get a bunch of damn people and a bunch of damn trucks and maybe even some of our own trailers to move stuff around. Uh, I was actually looking on YouTube before I started the stream uh, and I was curious what I had put in for the playlist description and I was basically like, yep, we're going to become the premier shipping company in all of the western United States, you know, whatever states they have added to the map. Of course, I'm still like half a dozen or so shy of owning all the available DLC states, but that's okay, because one day, and possibly with your help, and sending me money from subscriptions and donations and whatnot, I will own all of those states, like Texas and Oklahoma and Idaho, and whatever other ones I don't have off the top of my head that I can't think of. All right, looks like we did get our cruise control set for 60. Uh, we're only speeding right now because we're coasting downhill. At least that's my guess. Oh, that's a bit tight. Yep, I think that's I-90 on the GPS there off in the distance. Now we're going to have a speed limit change coming up because we're coming into some town. cool thing about not owning a truck, you don't have to worry about the gas prices. Actually, I'm not even sure if this game accounts for gas prices changing everywhere you go and every day. That would be an interesting, an interesting little thing. towards Seattle. Probably going to take I-90 all the way down to, uh oh, a little bit a little too tight, or too narrow. Uh, probably taking I-90 to I-5, and then a quick little jaunt down I-5 south to Tacoma. And speaking of which, let's take a look at the map, actually. I want to make sure we pass by Peterbilt. In fact, it looks like we're going right by them right before we do the drop at Walbert or whatever this whatever the Walmart analog is alright alright got the cruise control set back up for 60 let's get out on the highway and start making some way alright so if you're watching this stream tonight or this video I'm gonna have to have a chat with my son. Anyway, I think um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you're if you're coming here expecting me to be streaming Celasta, one of my players was not available tonight, and I decided I was gonna do something for streaming. 
and it's been a little while since we've done our last episode, our first episode of uh, Creek Dominion Freight. So here we are. Creek Dominion Freight and Omaha's Raiders Prelude to Chaos, the two streaming shows that do not have set days of the week on which they will be streamed. They will be streamed kind of willy-nilly like on a whim slash as time is available. I can bypass this scale. Let me get over now because it looks like it's getting busy on that lane. You son of a bitch. Really, dude? How about you get out the way now? Man, this makes me so angry. Just like real life. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm still in neutral. Alright, hold up. There we go. I thought I put it in drive. I guess I did it. Yep. That was the thing that just happened. That cost me $340. What's irritating about that? That was that accident wasn't even my fault. The dude came over and I couldn't stop in time because he came over. But you know what? That's when I would have fought in court. I don't have that luxury in this game. <laughs> oh man, that really that really does irritate me a little bit that he was able to do that and cause me damage and cause me money. But whatever, we continue onward. Got to get the stuff down to Tacoma. Stuck behind other slow-moving vehicles. Here we go. Coming up over. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, well, this is I-90, so maybe... I think I know where this is. I think I've actually been over this, this stretch of land. If this is where I think it is, it has. Number of times. I believe there is a tunnel coming up uh, as we get closer and closer to the water. Hey, look, FedEx Express. This is funny to me because I, in the real world, I drive FedEx ground. This may not be where I think it is. I don't remember this particular uh, bridge right here. Or at least not insofar as whether or not I've been over it. I probably have. This is I-90, which means I've probably been over it. I just don't remember this particular... Oh, I think I know where this is. Anywhere around Washington and some other places, depending on what states get added and when I own them. You'll hear me say things like, oh, I think I've been here before. I might have been here before, or I have been here before. You may even learn some fun facts about those particular areas as I uh, encounter them and then discuss them. Pay attention to the interchange here, so I need I-5 south, but they're taking me through 405, it looks like. Uh, this is a little weird, but okay. I need to be in this lane, because that lane doesn't exist in the game. I 
Okay, so 405 to I-5. Pretty sure, yeah, 405 doesn't come down to Tacoma. It just kind of skirts around Seattle and shit. At least my understanding, anyway. I've always tend to get things wrong from time to time. No better or worse than anyone else. We're on 405 for now. Shortly, I imagine we'll be kicking over to I-5. Or some other highway. Because eventually we gotta get up, we gotta get into Tacoma and 405 does not go into Tacoma as I recall. One thing I did notice in my personal playthrough, I guess, we'll call it that, is sometime after I had taken out that $100,000 loan, made a payment or two on it, it boosted my, effectively my credit limit, where I could pull out like, I want to say like 500 grand or some silly ass number, and I'm wondering if I should do that or if that's just far too early in this playthrough to pull out a second loan while I'm still only a payment or two in on the first. Oh, that's never a good thing. God damn it, I hate when this game does that. I don't know why it looks so far to the right. I needed that particular exit. Now you're going to redirect me and take even longer. Which I realize is a thing in the real world, but good lord. It's annoying. It is super annoying when the game does it. Because it seems like it does it far too often. But the only way to fix that would be to fix some of the settings for traffic and traffic density and whatnot. We're going to go to the West Seattle Bridge. Amazing. This particular interchange in the real world is a little bit more complicated than it shows on here, but I feel like that's a fairly common statement for most parts of this map. They, uh, there's a number of areas that are actually like four or six lanes that the game just drops it to only two or three. And this is one of them. It can get pretty tricky in here if you're not paying attention or you're just, you don't really know where you're going because you're not familiar with this area. I've driven up to Seattle a number of times and it is it can get a little sketchy. This particular uh, exit, if this is the one I think it is, uh, which isn't that far from the stadiums, it can be downright annoying. I discovered a recruitment agency. Cool. Can you put my map back up? Thank you. Ah. <coughs> uh. It's that same FedEx truck again. I don't know if it's the same one or if it's just another iteration. Oh my goodness. Uh, Kenworth truck dealer. I don't know if I want Kenworth. I want Peterbilt, to be honest. I think. I think that's what I wanted. sure if I had the right of way there, but we're going to go anyway. And 
They didn't hit the trailer, so there's that. Seriously, dude, you're gonna try to blow by me right now. I guess I should get used to the Seattle driver mentality here. Yeah, like this stretch right here is definitely not just three lanes, it's like five or six lanes. Of course, we're also not coming directly from Seattle and into this particular exit, 154 Bravo, which is the airport exit. It's uh, a few miles, like about eight or nine miles, in fact. Uh, from the the exit that we just got on it, but of course that's part of the, the uh, I forget the word. Uh, oh Jesus! I had it a second ago, literally just as I was talking, and then when it came time to use that particular word, it disappeared from my mind. Uh, time compression and the map scale compression, for lack of a better thing to call that. Because as you can see, we just went from 154 to 136. 136 in about the same time it would take to go from 154 to 153. Alright, exiting here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be my exit. We have made it into Tacoma. This is the Port of Tacoma Road. Uh, directly in front of us is the Tacoma Dome. And off to the right is all the port stuff. And you can't see it because I don't think they put it in the map or in the game. But directly behind us is the Emerald Queen Casino. Just in case you were curious about that sort of thing. Put the brake on because I didn't want to keep holding down the S key. Oh, here we go. Need to get away from the fireplace, silly. My cat is down here sniffing at the metal uh, guard that I have up for the fireplace, which I'm not using at the moment, but he's sitting in there sniffing at it anyway. Weirdo. Alright, so the Peterbilt lot is actually right there. We'll get the discovery credit here in just a moment. Should at any rate. If not. Oh, hey, look, Tacoma discovered. We should get it any second now. We should get it. Uh, Peterbilt truck dealer discovered. Awesome. And this is our entrance to where we're going here. I can slow down a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to make that. Not going to make it. Oh, we made it. Cool, except for one small problem. Uh, nope, that's brights. Uh, J? No. No. That's lights. Uh, shit. Oh, F. That's it. We're gonna irritate some people here. I gotta get. Ooh. I gotta get, uh,. Oh, we're going to have a hell of a time here. Yeah, we are. Let me swing this a little bit wider. And then cut it in, maybe. 
I don't drive professionally in an articulated vehicle, so I'm trying to get this to trigger, but I keep getting. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Uh, I think that's the way to do. We're gonna go down the road a little ways and find a spot to whip it around. Nope, oh, the other way. My. see anybody behind me directly but I'm about to literally flip a bitch actually no I'm gonna pull into this car dealership here do it that way get a little bit of room right here use all the space I'm given ooh that's not good. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. I think that's going to swing it. That's not really what I wanted. Oh, wait. Ah, I see what I can do. Bang. I think. I may have just made this totally worse for myself. But, you know, nothing new there. Make things more difficult than they need to be. Can I clear this? I think. That... Should be able to just swing back around the front side of the building if I'm careful enough. Watch, there's gonna be a garage or something. Oh, oh there's just a bar. Barricade. We could blow through the barricade, right? <laughs> Evidently not. <laughs> Alright, let me see what I'm looking at. What have we got behind me directly? Uh, let's see. If I kick my wheel that way, the trailer will go the other way. Nope, wrong way. I've royally screwed myself, I think. I got an idea. I think I can do it. May take a couple of tries, but I think I got it. Maybe. No, oh, no. Okay. Now, kick around like this. Now, kick the wheel. Nope, I want to kick the wheel the other way. Because. Nope, nope, I was right. That's right. Keep going. Man, it's gonna get super tight in here. It is gonna get really crazy. Okay. What is this camera view? No, that is not helpful at all. Okay. Uh, so back it up. That should do it. Oh, damn it! I was wrong again.
think I got it. I think I got it. Alright, now we kick it around all that way. We might actually be able to clear this if we're careful. Super wide here. Kick it back around the other way. We use all the space we got. Look at that. I think we can actually get back out onto the road. Which we super need to do so we can go drop this stuff off and get ourselves a Peterbilt. Let's turn these off. They're annoying. Ah! We did it, friends. We did it. It was not the smoothest operation ever, by the way, but we did it. That's what's important. We accomplished the task that we set for ourselves to do. So we didn't wreck anything. We took 2% damage because we ran into a barrier that honestly would have broken if we had actually hit it in real life. But whatever. I'm not going to argue that. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Oh, man. All right, now we should be able to pull in here. Trigger the drop, uh, whatever thingy, dialogue. There we go. All right, enter, and because now I don't really want to do it, we'll just do the, sorry, I'm in a hurry. Oh, wow. Who we level up? I don't think so. That's okay. Uh, we now have 119,000. Let's go look at the truck dealership and see what we can see. Um, can you just take me there or something? Oh, I see what it did. Yes, let's go to the Tacoma Peterbilt dealership. All right, 112,000 for this one. 118 for that one. We can actually get this, excuse me, this one. Let's look at customized configuration. Can we get a black one? Because that would be super cool. Uh, is this colors? Yep, paint job. It's going to add 2,900, making our total. Oh, done deal. Done and done. We are purchasing this thing for 118,615. Regular insurance paid already. Regular insurance, not like super cool insurance. All right, now we need to get a job pronto from here in Tacoma. That's okay. We can set the search for that. Oh, we're at our... Oh, well, we're in Olympia now. That's where our garage is. You know what? We should probably rest. Okay, that's, that's enough of that. Uh, we can, we can rest when we, uh, get rolling. Job market, external, we could take something from the internet. Synchronizing, uh, we're going to sort by origin down, because we need something from Tacoma, and we're going to take a moment to look. We've got a few ideas, a few options. So, 17000 for some Halloween treats. Uh, that's the highest so far. That's the one we're going to do. Where are we taking these treats? From Tacoma to Bend. Let's go. Needs to be there. Does it say when it needs to be there? By. No, it will probably tell us that when we. Or maybe I just missed where it said it. Who knows? Alright, so now we own our own truck. Our next task will be to, uh trailer's ready to head to the area. So first things first, we gotta set our seat. Uh bring it back all the way. And bring it down just a touch, I think. Yeah. Alright. Engine lights. Uh parking brake. It's off. Put it in reverse. Let's get to 
Oh, that's the wrong button. Man, somebody needs to come out here with a weed eater. take a quick look to make sure I'm not about to hit anybody and also to verify my lights are on because I don't think they actually turned on. There we go. Lights are on now. Alright, we're good that way. We're good that way. We're rolling. Let's go. Got ourselves a nice big old black Peterbilt truck. We got a cargo to go pick up. Some Halloween treats. We got to get down to Bend, Oregon. I'm not yielding to that guy. I can get in this before he's even coming around. We gotta drive up to Tacoma, pick up the trailer, drive it down to Bend, Oregon. Bend, Oregon from Tacoma is about, I'm gonna say about a four to six hour drive. Uh, so looking at our fatigue meter there, the little uh, little bed looking dude, we uh, will probably have to stop somewhere along the way and get some rest. It is three something in the afternoon on Tuesday, I'm sorry, uh, it is Tuesday 2.45, that's my estimated time of arrival in Tacoma. hit the parking brake because I'm tired of holding this the S key down again. Oh, look at that. Washington State Patrol pulling up right next to me on the right. I wasn't pulling a trailer since I took it so wide, but what whatevs. What ifs? where we were a little bit ago. Oh, shit. Wrong lane. This one. <coughs> yeah, I think we got the idea that I'm turning here. This is one of those... Uh, when the advisory speed limit thing says 25, you really do want to be doing 25 because it can get pretty tight. Some weird angles get involved. I'm rolling. I'll bang up my brand new truck. Please. Oh, that's a red light. need to get over one lane, but do that in a moment.
Must be some international Halloween treats that I'm picking up. That was a joke because of the Port of Tacoma being on the Pacific Coast and all that. Was I supposed to take that turn? I think I was. Shit, I was. No, no, I think we're good right here. Oops. Oh man, that's super scary right there. Wait for this guy to get out the way. Where is the dialogue trigger? Mm. Oh, well, I guess I gotta go over this way. There's my trailer right there. Uh, this is the front. Alright, so we just got to do... Let's turn these on. And then we'll just swing around. Pretty sure that's not standard operating procedure in the port. I don't care. We are hooked up. Our map is updated to our new route to Bend, Oregon. We're going to be taking I-5 all the way down across the state line until we get to US-20, at which point we will drop over from, it uh, looks like just south of Salem, into Bend. Uh, I don't remember if I've actually... Uh, I think as far as the game is concerned, I haven't been this far south. But let's get after it. We will actually, before we do that, we are going to find a hotel. Uh, in fact, let's do this in Salem. We will grab that hotel right there. Exit only. Alright, that means we're going the right way. Ooh. Okay, good. We made it. Alright, we're good. We're good. We are so good. We are so good. Alright, uh, let's get up here. Blinker, change camera view. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Got skeletons and pumpkins and stuff all over their trailer. That's pretty cool. Alright, nope, nope, not yet, not yet. Gotta wait for that guy. Then we can go. Now we're going. And we'll go right back out to I 5. Head on south. So, there's the community goal of making, like, I think it said a million uh, Halloween treat deliveries. 
Uh, and there's a personal goal of 13. Now, the, the goal to complete 13, or excuse me, the prize or reward for doing 13 is this cool little stuffy cat. I'll say that as my cat is actually attacking his scratching post right now. Uh, that you get to put, I believe, in your cab. I might be wrong on that. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Unfortunately, I don't play this game often enough. Well, I have like two weeks, too. I think the deadline it said was like uh, November 14th or something. 40, 50, 60. So who knows, maybe I'll get the... And of course, if I'm making short-range deliveries, get more done in the time, but... Oh, come on, dude, hurry up and pass me up so I can get over. But I thought that was pretty cool. I'd get a little uh, cute, cuddly, scary kitty. Road safety is no accident. Yeah. Except nobody is, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. I could spend hours getting my blood pressure up on how some of these people drive around here. Hey, exit 111. I used to live off that exit. Exit 111 is the Martin Way. And, uh, Martin and Marvin. Martin goes one direction, Marvin goes the other. Uh, one of them is north and south, the other is east west. I get a little confused as to which one does what exactly, but I know where I'm going, if that makes any sense at all. 105, state capital. Exit 104, going to US 101, which will take you out to the coast. Out to Aberdeen, home city of none other than Kurt Cobain and a whole bunch of other people. You got a memorial park for Kurt Cobain out there. Driven by it a number of times. This interchange is not accurate to what it really is. There's actually two lanes exiting. And I want to say three lanes proceeding south uh, on I-5. <laughs> I got some of it right. It's just, it's the lane count that's not right. It drives me nuts. But only because I literally drive this uh, that stretch and take 101 out west every single day I'm at work. But, you know, they had to, they had to con condense things. Alright, so we have a waypoint set for Salem. Uh... That's where we will stop for the night, even though I could easily just pull off the side of the road here, or not side of the road. I could pull off right here in Centralia, or Rochester. I think this is what it actually is. I don't know, what is this part? What, is it, what does the map call this? Because that's actually roughly where Centralia, Centralia or Chehalis is. Don't you get no bright ideas, kitty. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Don't forget I got a spray bottle with your name all over it. Love you too. I'm waiting for him to hop up on the desk. He likes to do that when I'm over here gaming. He thinks I'm not paying enough attention to him. Which, frankly, if I'm gaming, I'm definitely not paying enough attention to him.
Exit one, coming up on Vancouver. Actually, I think we've technically passed Vancouver. Wasn't kind of paying attention. I kind of daydreamed a little bit there for a moment. Dangerous on the rear world, but this is a virtual world. The only thing I have to worry about is my my dollars and cents over there. Six hundred and two dollars left over, but we're gonna get seventeen grand once we complete this run. It will help offset the cost of uh, the daily payment I have to make, which seems a bit absurd, really, but I know how it works. Eighteen hundred dollars per day. Uh, of course, that's in-game day. That is a ridiculous amount of money to pay back. 56 payments or something like that, I think it said. 54, I don't know. You know, the one cool thing about having our own truck is uh, every time we stop for the session, we can... Uh, I must have hit the brake and didn't realize it. Uh, every time we stop for the section, the truck will be right where we left it. So we can continue right from there. We can just go on a wandering and exploring. Look at them clouds. Shit looks real. I think that's the mod. It may or may not be the mod I have. Because I have a mod for uh, real weather or something like that. <laughs> and I don't know if that includes the clouds or if it just affects like rain and snow or something like that. But uh, whoever developed, whoever did the artwork for it. It's pretty good. Good on you, mate. I don't know if it was part of the ATS dev team or if it was uh, some mod dude. Mod person, to be more gender neutral. Looking pretty good. Uh, south towards Salem. Oh, we're over speed. There we go. Why does it keep doing that? Oh, I think my settings are a little bit off. Hold on. We can fix that really quick. Uh, let's see. Options. And then I want keys and buttons. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I mostly want my, um, cruise control. So, cruise control, start, increase, decrease, cruise control, resume. So, those are correct. Why? Weird, because down is, hold on, what did it just say? Down should be reducing it. Not turning it off. Cruise control, speed decrease, up and down. And then resuming is to the right. I don't know what this adaptive cruise control mode is. which is our current speed limit for some reason. Oh, because we're going through the town. We gotta get over. Oh, we're going through Portland. We're in the Beaver State. We're getting off the Dells? No, I'm not.
there's my cat getting all up on, on the desk. Get down, kitty. Come on. There's our exit for Salem coming up. US 20. Should be taking us to the rest stop. And then we'll continue from there back. Uh, well, from there to US 20 direct. And then over to uh, Bend, Oregon. Where we get some sleep. and hit all green lights. Will never have it again. I need that stuff out of the way. There you go. Okay, rest area right in here. Uh, let me see. Right here. Park parking. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. That's oh, gonna be one of those. Okay. Oh, I can actually park right here. Uh, let's get more up on this. Me a little bit more light. Uh, let's see, you need to turn the left. You know what? It's just us. Screw it. Now we're already here. to sleep. <laughs> we're just going to take off right from here in the morning when we wake up. 5.17 in the morning comes quick, don't it? Oh, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Son of a bitch. Yep. 
I totally meant to hit E instead of enter. Uh, do that again frequently, in fact. Uh, are my lights on or are they off? They are on. Let's get out of here. It is now 3.18. I slept basically something like 12 hours there. Or more. And I'm now 1200 bucks in the hole because the payment went through for my loan payment. Kitty, you need to get down off the desk. Get down. I love you, but no. Yep, that was totally me telling my cat to get off the desk. Get the stinks to get. Come on, get moving, you fatty. Let's go before the interchange for US 20, I believe it was. That'll take us over to Bend. 5 -oh. Yeah. <laughs> I went a little loose on that turn and scared the driver. <laughs> that little, uh, oh God, I don't know what to call it. That little car right there. Healing. I'm just gonna go. Mm, we'll run that.
Haven't been to this part of Oregon. Uh, the only thing I've really done in Oregon is uh, right off of I-5. And I can't even remember, in fact, the uh, where I stayed when I went to San Francisco this summer. Uh, stayed, stayed in the exact same hotel on the way down and on the way back. I just don't remember what town that was. Uh, story? No. It was, uh... Wherever it was, it was right about halfway between where I live and where I was going in San Fran. I don't remember the name of the town now. I better look at the mail. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Probably uh, a payment. My account is overdrawn. Yeah, I know. I am well aware. Don't worry. It will... Uh, that will be rectified in about one hour and 20 minutes in game time, or 60 something miles. Because I'm gonna drop a trailer off. I'm gonna get paid. me just rolling down the highway in the middle of Oregon delivering Halloween treats candies and other sweet things I guess I don't know down because I'm going up a hill. Holy cow. Uh, and of course what goes up must come down because that looks like the sign for uh... Wait, what is that? Oh, that's just trucks. <sighs> we made it to the top. some road work ahead. That's cute. Well, I guess we'll just sit here and wait. Wait for that light to turn green. Anybody know any good jokes? I don't. What the hell was that? Somebody flashed their lights? Somebody take a picture of me? Y'all saw that flash, right? I missed it on the playback. It looked like he was throwing dirt off of the road onto the side of the road after somebody dropped a big old pile of dirt right there. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but... Oh, 
Vehicle Matter. We got 20 miles to go. And we'll drop this load and have 17 grand in our pocket, and we'll probably end the stream at that point. Call it a day, and hope that the next time we come back around won't be that long from now. Maybe even later this week. We don't know. Probably not, though, actually, now I think about it. I got a match scheduled. Uh, I have a match scheduled this week for the Greyland Trios League. And of course, tomorrow I'll be doing some trick or treating. At least that's the plan. I think. Take my kidling out, my youngest. I'll go find, find candy from other people. Ben discovered. Oh shit. Ugh, God damn it. Urgh. You know, they ought to do an ad in this game. Is people, oh, for fuck's sake, seriously? And people hop out their cars and come back and want to fight you. Why are you near enemy? That's another $340 I just lost. And my truck has damage. 1%. 1% damage. That just means I can crash 99 more times of that same level of intensity. We'll be okay. It's not exactly how that works, but... For certain, I had a mod that stopped calling it Walbur and called it what it really is. But maybe, yeah, I hit something with the trailer on oh, the curb. But maybe there was an update. I think I saw that when I started the game up. Maybe that uh, that mod needs to update. It's not the button I wanted. That button. That's that's enough of that sound. Just like in real life, sometimes I get tired of listening to that blinker. In fact, in my personal car, my blinker no longer makes sound. Not because I killed it, but because it decided to stop working. The blinker works, mind you. It's the little ticky ticky sound. Oh, come on, UPS. UPS doesn't roll with hazmat placards. I don't think they do. I mean, maybe they should. I don't know. I know FedEx Express rolls with it. I don't. I know that. Despite carrying hazmat from time to time.
much more in, in this box so I need oh I gotta scoot up a little bit more. There we go. Alright, put it in neutral, drop the brake, drop the trailer. And get paid. And get some experience points too. Hey, we made it to level three. Yay! Alright, so we got paid 16,631. We gained 320 for proficiency and a little bit more for our long distance delivery bonus, trailer maneuvering bonus for XP. I am happy with that. Yeah, one point to spend. Let's put it in long distance. Apply. We got two pieces of mail. Overdraft settled, and we can help you grow. See, now my credit limit has been raised to half a million. Feel free to draw from the available sum anytime at your local bank center. So this is very, very tempting because that means I can get a whole nother truck, a whole nother driver, possibly two or three, because I don't remember what the hiring fees are. And all I have to do is visit my local bank center. That could take me up to about 118000 which is the price I would need for another truck, but not enough for a driver. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Crewman agency. Hire a driver. You don't have any slots. Please upgrade one of your garage. Yes, I'm aware. I just wanted to see how much it would cost me to hire these people. Uh, it looks like we don't have to worry about a hiring fee. We obviously have to pay them. What's this? Oh, fuel efficiency. Is that what that is? I think it is. Looks like Maria M. is the better by far of these three candidates. Uh, we have to pay our $361 per delivery plus $16.66 per mile. I don't care about that. Uh, frankly, we're not going to hire her yet. We need a truck, and before we can do that, we got to uh, update our garage. Uh, Jesus Christ. Upgrade our garage. Um, can I do it from this screen? I can. I don't have enough money until I... Uh, Okay, I do need to. Okay, I'm gonna pull the. I almost want to pull the 500 grand, or 400 grand, I should say. I gotta pull like 5,800 dollars a day to break even on my payments. You know what? I think I, if I do so, eighteen hundred. It's gonna take me up to thirty six hundred a day. Thirty six uh, twenty eight. Forty six. Uh, it's six. Um, man, that's some tough math. I can't math that. Uh, let me see. Pull up my calculator right quick. You won't see this, but. 18, 14, uh, close enough, times three. Yeah, it's going to be 5,442 a day on a $300,000 loan. If I grab that 400000 is it cheaper? So, hold on. 18, what is it? Is it 18, 14? Yeah, 18, 14 a day. 18, 14 times 4 is 72.56. I already have the 18, 18, 14 loan plus the 57.88. I think that was the same number. It was 18, 14 times 4. All right, so if we get this 400000 it's actually slightly cheaper to pay that off per day than to grab 100000 three additional times. Because we're going to need, I think, like a hundred grand to upgrade. Well, let's take a look. Let's see how much it is to upgrade the garage. I don't remember a lot of this, unfortunately. 
from the first time, first couple of times I tried playing this game. Let's see. Mm, we need 180,000 to upgrade. Extra, extra two slots for your trucks and drivers. Okay. All right. They're going to make me money. I'm going to have to pay them as well. Fuck it. I'm going all in. We're taking a 400 grand. We have a half a million dollar loan out. And we're going to be paying something like $7,600 a day. Uh, 70 days to pay this off, though, at 5788 Yes, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, now we've got, let's see, $416,000. let us get that garage upgraded. That's not the button I wanted to push. Uh, we're going to upgrade the garage. This is what businesses do, right? They just acquire a bunch of money, and they spend a bunch of money, and somehow they're able to make a bunch of money. All right. Upgrade the garage. One grade. Give me two additional slots. There we go. Now. Oh, we got to... We got to... I guess we got to drive. Why? All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We're not going to, I think we're going to get one truck, possibly two. Let's see how much money's left over now. We might just get one truck and driver, get them rolling. Here's our garage. Looks a lot cleaner. We ain't got weeds all over the place, right? That's sexy. Well, I don't know about sexy, but that's definitely attractive. How about that? We'll call it attractive. Our, our, our attractive garage. We'll boost this up too. I finish paying off this half mil and grab some more bigger monies so we get more trucks and stuff. Okay, now, truck dealers. I gotta get me another Peterbilt. It's actually, oh my god, I almost said screw it. This, oh, I don't, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, um, the level requirement. So, I was gonna say, I, I might get me a new truck. All right, so let's put, this is 112,000. This is 118, but we can't get this level 13 one, so we'll get, uh, let's customize it right quick, make it black. Actually, we're going to make it kind of purplish. Uh, custom color is going to be worth 4,500 bucks. It's all right. We got the money, right? We're going to make it kind of purpley. So we've got to be like a, like a dark purpley. Yeah. Yeah. Like a really deep, dark, plum purple. How's that look? That looks nice. I like it. We're not going to drive that truck. That's that's the one that's going to go to our, uh, our new hire. All right. Purchase for 120 grand. That's going to take us from 236 to 116. Do you want to drive my truck? No. I want to send it back to my garage. Uh, here we go. Okay. Thank you for your purchase. Deliver it to the garage in Olympia. Now we go back. Yes, I want to exit. Because now we got to go to the recruiting agency. And get this new driver going. Hire a driver. Oh, we don't get Maria. Okay, fine. Josh T. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Fifteen hundred bucks to hire a person, but that's the what we have to pay the recruiting agency, not so much the hiring fee for the individual driver. This dude does not look like he needs to be on the road anymore. I'm sorry. That's I know that's really rude to say, but I don't know if I want him driving. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, this guy's got some fragile cargo and uh, I want to say, what is it? Is that uh, time delivery or something? Uh, let's see. First destination, we're going to send them there. We're going to put them in this slot. Pick target slot. Driver will arrive shortly and will start working automatically after setting in, settling in, providing they have a truck. And he does have a truck. All right, I now have about 114 grand. Let's take a look in 
know what? I, I said we were going to end the stream. I think we can do one more drive. Let me see what's available for us. Uh, see if we can get another Halloween treats. Where am I? I am in uh, Bend. $40,000 to go from Bend to Bakersfield. That's going to be a drive, though. That's like a... That's about an 8 to 10 hour drive, if not longer. However, that's really tempting for 40 grand. Uh, let's see. Is there anything bigger? Bigger money from Bend going anywhere. Don't, don't see it. Screw it. We're going to take that one for 40 grand. Once I find it. Halloween treats. Going to Bakersfield, California. That should be pretty straightforward. It looks like that's I-5 all the way south. Uh once we get once we catch up to I-5. Alright. Let's see. We're gonna take it. Forty grand. I need it. I need the money. I gotta pay off like seven thousand six hundred something dollars a day, and I pay uh, my business partner now, <laughs> Josh. Okay. Let's take a quick look around here. The trailer I'm picking up is behind me. It looks like. All right. Uh, break off here. Oh, let me look at my lights. I always want to make sure my lights are on. Lights are not. There we go. Okay. Uh, are you going to let me pull a Yui here? Hold on a second. That's a really weird place for that UPS truck. I'm going really fast here. I think I got a little more wiggle room back here. I mean, I got plenty of room, to be honest. I'm not carrying a trailer at the moment. See where this trailer is. Oh, it's right there. Okay, that's easy enough. Pull forward a little bit, try this again. Uh, I got a little bit close to that with that gate right there. All right, there we go. Let's try this again. Let's take a quick look at the map because we're gonna need to plan a rest break relatively soon probably about that's california and that looks like an epa inspection uh let me zoom in oh, that's on the wrong side of the fucking road i think once we get into redding we will look at rest areas but it looks like once again all the rest areas are on the wrong side of the freaking highway uh, so they can get a little tricky at times. 
What about this guy? That's not going to work. We could actually. I'll just do that. It shouldn't be terrible. All right. So we're going to drive the Redding. We may or may not end the stream at that point. I'll, I'll see how I feel at that time. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, we have to do some really wild... we got to do, like, a button hook right here to get out. Hold on. Hold on. I don't need to do a button hook. I think I can just drive around this stupid building. It'd be the retarded way to go, but whatever. I really probably shouldn't say retarded like that. It would certainly make a lot more sense to do that, though, than it would be to try to button hook through some extremely limited range of motion areas. All right, we're gonna deliver some more Halloween candy. We're gonna at least get it into Redding, California. This whole trip all the way down to, I believe I said Bakersfield, is a 14-hour trip from the looks of it. Of course, that is based mostly, I believe, on my current speed, which is less than 15 miles an hour as I take this ridiculously long way around the yard to get out again. Oh, please tell me that is not what I think that is right there. It absolutely is. Son of... Oh, good God. Okay. Uh, let me take a quick look around here. Uh, because we're going to have to do some crazy... No, no. I think if I... Turn the wheel that way. Backing up. Okay, once again, turn the wheel the wrong way. Alright. I think I can pull a really tight loop right here. Maybe not. Maybe. 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 Whoo, boy, that was super close. I made it, though. I made it, though. I didn't, know, I didn't have to do any extra, extra backing up. Here we go, back out on the road. And I said that right just before I noticed the stop sign. Alright, looks like we're clear. Oh, hey, look, a cop right in front of us, too. That's not conspicuous or anything.
our way. I think once we do get to Redding, I think we will call it for the night. I don't know if I've got it in me to make it all the way down to Bakersfield. Especially once I cross over into California where there's absolutely no way that I can be legally allowed to get this truck over 55. The entire state of California sucks in that regard. Civic, as we're currently rolling a solid 45. Yes, California is one of those states that mandates all semi-trucks to drive at a lower speed limit than everybody else on the road. Washington, not so much. Oregon, I've seen it a couple of times here. Never paid attention to it when I've driven through Oregon for real. see you down there. What are you plotting? I'm talking to the cat. You're a cat. I know you're plotting something. You're trying to figure out some way to get up here so you can be a nuisance because I'm not giving you attention. The cat is dead staring right at me. See you. I see you. You are seen. Ah, really? Still speed them at 45. What the hell? We can go faster, you know. I mean, yet, yeah, well, obviously we can go faster. I don't think the law would appreciate that, and I don't really feel like playing too much with the law, to be honest, because I gotta pay a lot of money every day. So I'm gonna need every freaking dollar I can get my hands on. Alright, here we go. 55. In the right lane ending. See you, kitty. You know you're not supposed to be up here like this. You can get this. You can sit in the seat behind me as long as you stay right behind me. Come on, pop a squat. No, don't you dare try to climb up there. You know I can see you in the camera. I can see what you're doing. What are you doing? No. Get back in there. There's been a couple of times the cat has climbed up onto the chair, squeezing in between the back of the chair and my back, and then will claw his way up to the top of the chair. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Although I think he's perfectly fine being stuck between me and the chair. He's not really stuck. But... Ooh, that's a big speed change. Comfy right there? Okay, if you're comfy, you're comfy. You know I'm gonna be getting up in a little bit though. And then he's gonna jack my seat. That's his other thing. He likes to steal my seat. 
and then get mad at me when I try to grab them to lift them up off my seat. And I'm like super gentle about it. Like I pet them a little bit, I let them know I'm there, I'm talking to them a little bit, letting them know what's going on. But as soon as I reach to touch him, to actually lift him, that's when the teeth and the claws come out. I'm like, bruh, I told you this was gonna happen. Don't act like this is a surprise. You decided to chill in the hot spot I left on the seat. I'm moving you because I want my seat back. But you know, trying to reason with crazy over here. Too much further, I don't think, until we get to I-5. Uh, oh, I've got a text I have to answer. There we go. Yeah, I think uh, we got a little ways, actually. We got a, Oh, Medford. Medford was the town I stopped in on the way to and on the way back from uh, San Francisco. Just in case anybody was curious where I was going with that story earlier. Yeah, we got a little ways to go to get to Reading. I mean, uh, not Reading, but I-5. And it looks like uh, Reading is where we get on I-5 at. I need to answer this text again. All right, we're good. We are good. Although I'm sure I'm going to get an answer here back in a moment. can't go in there and you know that. I've had to pull you out of there. Hold on, guys. Come here. You're cool. Ow, that's my shoulder. Oh, Jesus, cat. I don't think he liked it when I held him like that. Decent. Like, it wasn't a harsh grip. I think it was the fact I was holding him so long. Usually I don't do that like that. Sorry, buddy. You just you can't go in the little cubby hole on my desk. I have a spot on my desk that is literally. You know how those desks that you can that sometimes will have like a sliding, uh, like a sliding shelf that you can pull it out for your keyboard or something like that. Well, I have a little cubby hole that sits right about lap level. Uh, that my cat has decided that every now and again he wants to go and explore, but he could be a real pain in the ass to get out of there. If he gets in there before I catch him. And I don't want to deal with all that. Not to mention there's some stuff in there that I don't want to... Ooh, that's a tighter turn than I thought it would be. Uh, not to mention there's some stuff in there that I don't want to, you know, mess with. Get it back into order once, it, once I extract the cat.
I still love you, Stitchy. I'm sorry if I hurt you. Weed, San Francisco. Weed is a real town, by the way. And yes, they uh, live up to the name of their town. Say weed sixty seven miles away. Doesn't sound right. Oh, Popo got you. just crossed over into California. Redding is 120 miles away. Weed is about half of that. I guess weed is further north in California than I thought it was. Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting I gotta reset. Alright, hold on. We're gonna fix that, because that's really bugging me. Cruise control. B. Pull. Up. Down. Wait. Boom. Now it should work, hopefully. Nope, it's still not. I don't know. Oh, load. Oh, we made. 
made a loan payment. Ugh. Loan installment of 1814 So we got the other one, which is going to be about 5700 I see I'm going to have to... What is this? Oh, yep. Agricultural inspection. Agricultural inspection, not EPA. Okay. Well, I couldn't remember exactly what it was. But I know as soon as you cross over into California, they've got these agro bits. So I actually have to pull it to the attendant. I don't actually have to stop. I could have just kept rolling. Fuck it. I'm going to roll. Oh, shit. Did not see him coming. I should have left. Failed to stop? Are you... I didn't... Okay, you know what? Maybe I didn't go to the right... Oh, that's exactly what it was. I didn't go to the right lane. That's where that truck was coming from. And trucks usually go to their own lane. God damn it. Too late now. Well, if I ever come back this way, we'll do it right that time. Because I'm sure I'm going to remember this. Like, oh yeah, you remember the last time I came this way and I screwed up the agricultural inspection station? Yeah, let's not do that again. $1,200 fine, I think it said. I feel like I got a bunch of money. Not that I want to waste it on stupid fines. It's like a third fine of the night. should give me oh damn it I gotta get my buttons fixed you know what let's do that let's try something different because then I maybe I just need to unassign all right how's see oh uh, that's why it's doing it okay that one um that Unassigned. Select input you want to unassign. Break reverse. Oh, that's well done. Oh, okay, I get it now. All right, throttling up. Breaking and. Okay, now when I come down here, my speed cruise control, it's going to be C, it's going to be up, be down, it's going to be right. Now I think we got it right. Jesus, I don't know why that was so difficult to figure out. Really? 
Whatever, just rack up the violations then. I'll call this episode Banking and Violations. I mean, they already gave me one. I might as well fucking go. No point sitting here. If you're already going to charge me for a red light, I might as well take advantage of it. It's like I-5 up ahead, but I could be wrong. In fact, I'm very well might be wrong. Oh, that is I-5 up ahead. not a good sign when you're coming up on the highway. Y'all don't know who I am. I'll drive on the daggum... I don't think it is not hitting anybody. I will drive on the shoulder and go around you. Illegal as fuck, but I just did it. And I didn't get fined. Sure, this shit will find me for stopping in the crosswalk. Oops. Right, I got about 50 miles to go to get to Reading. see how much gas I got left, but I think we're gonna... I got 188 miles left on the tank. So we're gonna... Yeah, we'll stop in uh, Reading. That's where we'll wrap the stream, and then when I start it up again, next episode, we will make sure we get gas, and hit the road. That's a bit tight. Oof. And hit the road, and continue onward. I will look at streaming again on Thursday the 2nd. No promises. I have a match scheduled for the Greyland Trios League as I mentioned previously. Uh, and those tend to run between an hour and two hours depending on how things go and how long it takes to resolve everything. Um, other than that though, and then of course uh, tomorrow night no promises about any sort of streaming, whether it's if I do stream, what I stream, uh, and that's simply because, of course, that's trick or treat night, and then Wednesday is uh, second star. I almost said trick or treat, but I couldn't think of the right word, and I was like, I know that's not right. But yeah, so Wednesday evening, of course, is second star, my Traveler 2300 AD role-playing experience with a couple of crazies from my community, uh, led by me, of course, the senior crazy. going back to Grendel, evidently. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I got going on over the next couple of days. Uh, this weekend, uh, based on the GTL match on Thursday, the, this weekend I'll be looking at doing the Week in Review and start prepping for Week 6 of the 3025 season, which will be the Commander's Round. I'm not entirely sure exactly how I'm going to do that round and what's going to be different with that round versus previous rounds. But I think it's going to be... Uh, it'll be the obvious that, you know, each team will have a commander designated, which is one of the victory conditions that you can set in Mega Mech. So... It's just... 
the specifics of how I'm going to do it is the question that my players want to know. And I've been kind of holding out on them because, frankly, I didn't have the answer right away. I knew what I wanted to do or had the idea. Hold on. We got a little... Oh, there's, there's my waypoint. It's actually coming up. Uh, I knew what I wanted to do, or at least the idea of it. Now it's a matter of figuring out how to make that idea into a thing. So. That will be reviewed, or excuse me, revealed sometime this coming weekend. Because that's when I plan on doing the uh, week five weekend review. Nope. Definitely got some content coming over the next couple of days. Keep your eyes peeled right here at youtube.com slash at Omar Creek. Or you can catch me live Wednesday when I'm streaming uh, the Traveler 2300. Wednesdays live at 7 p.m. Pacific. Twitch.tv slash Omar Creek. Oh, wow. We got $2,000 from our new driver. That's awesome. That'll help offset some things. Mostly my, mostly my bad driving. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for that fine for running a stop sign. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, we're going. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon too. But uh, the sleepy man is turning blue. Gas gauge is getting low. gas right here before we even head off over to the sleepy land. Get gas. Then we'll go nap and we'll call it a night. $638? Go fuck yourself! Oh my god! Five dollars and eleven cents for a gallon of diesel. We so glad I don't have to pay for that money in real life. Right, let's go park the truck and get some naps. Beep, beep. Oh, that's my I'm paying for gas. That's why it's beeping at me. Uh, can I just? Yeah. Because what I want to do is I'm going to cut over here and then swing back around and point out towards the road. Without having to back up. I don't know why you would back an articulated vehicle any more than you absolutely had to. He made another thousand dollars while we were sleeping. Nice. Keep it going, dude. You're gonna you're gonna make my my daily payments all by yourself. All right, let's get off that screen. All right, my friends, we are going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, uh, always uh, always recommended, always appreciated, never required. The likes, the subs, the follows, the chats the, the comments i don't know whatever the buttons are on your screen just mash them and they will show up on my side as you saying thanks that was cool 
Uh, but yeah, we're going to get out of here. Have a wonderful evening or day, morning, noon, or night, whatever it is for you, wherever you are. Uh, happy Halloween, and please, for the love of God, not because of Halloween, but just because this world is crazy, have yourselves a good time, and please, 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 please stay safe out there. We'll catch you around next time. I just don't know exactly when the next time will be other than Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific when I stream 2300. Second star, rather. All right, I'm out of here. I'm rambling now. Have a good one.